tiny princess born from a flower. Thumbelina was so small, she would sleep in a nutshell. What a cute girl. You make a perfect wife for my son. The toad snatched her away. Where am I? So, you're awake. Time to meet your new husband. Croak, croak. <laughs> but... <laughs> Poor girl. Let me set you free. Thanks, Mr. Fish. Thumbelina was able to escape. But she got lost in the deep woods. Now where am I? All seemed hopeless until... Excuse me, may I stay here for a while? Poor little girl, come in. The kind Mrs. Mouse was happy to have a guest. She enjoyed sharing her warm home with Thumbelina. Hello, Mr. Mole. This is Thumbelina. Oh, what a sweet little girl. Mr. Mole is rich. If you marry him, you'd be happy. You must be joking, Mrs. Mouse. <laughs> One morning, Thumbelina found an injured swallow. Are you all right? Oh. Thumbelina cared for Mr. Swallow. Thanks. I'll be able to fly again. When I'm better, I will take you anywhere you want to go. I would love to go, but if I left, Mrs. Mouse would be lonely. Winter came, and once again, Mr. Mole came to visit Mrs. Mouse. Thumbelina, Mr. Mole wants to marry you. How wonderful! What? But I don't want to marry him! <laughs> If she married Mr. Mole, she couldn't enjoy warm, sunny days. She would spend the rest of her life underground. It would be much worse than the swamp or the dark woods. However, they had already prepared for the wedding. The wedding day soon came. Hey, Thumbelina. I'm all better now. Let's go for a ride. This time, Thumbelina did not hesitate. Mr. Swallow, please take me somewhere warm and bright. Together, they soared into the sky and left the forest behind. I'm sorry, Mrs. Mouse. Now, where should we go? Let's head south, where it's bright and sunny. They soon found a beautiful prairie covered in flowers. How about over there? What a beautiful place! Ah, who are you? Thumbelina was surprised. Hi, I'm Thumbelina. Thumbelina, I'm the Prince of Flowers. I think we can become good friends. I think so too. After her amazing journey, Thumbelina finally found a place to call home. Knowing Thumbelina was safe, Mr. Swallow took off. Thumbelina and the prince later married, and they lived happily ever after.